Truck is XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Golden Wildfire, the leader's stratagem. The Alliance Army pushes back the Empire at Deirdre, where they receive word that Count Gloucester has rejoined the Alliance. It seems his disloyalty was all part of a deceitful plan. With their position lost, the Imperial Army begins to retreat. Claude and his allies press forward, planning to surround them as they flee to Adrestia. The Imperial forces within the Alliance are currently dispersed between the western part of Regan territory and the northern part of Gloucester lands. They're making a desperate attempt to march south, but Count Gloucester's persistent attacks have slowed their progress. I would appreciate it if you could be more precise with your language. In fact, my father's tactics have halted the Imperial Army's southward advance. I'm pretty sure that's what I just said. Anyway, here's where we come in. We'll surround the enemy, cutting off their retreat and cornering them in Western Regan territory. Then, we give them a good thrashing. That's it? Sounds kind of simple if you ask me. Hey, what more could you want? All the best plans are easy to understand. Trust me, it's a sure win. Yeah, even I know what's going on now. We just have to herd the Imperial Army into Western Regan territory and stop them from moving any further south, right? Couldn't have said it better myself. Just remember that the enemy knows this is their last stand. We have to proceed with caution. I want to finish them off before Count Burglis has a chance to muster a sizable army and mount an attack. Um, Ferdinand and Bernadetta are leading the Imperial Army, right? I'm guessing you'd rather not kill them? Believe me, I don't want that either. We may have been in different classes, but they're still our old friends from the Academy. Once our forces are in place, I plan to offer them terms of surrender. But for now, we need to focus on driving their army into a corner. You got it! I swear on these biceps, I won't let them get away! I don't know. I'm not convinced it's gonna be that easy. But I guess that's besides the point. We've got to get out there. You said it. Let's move out. I can't believe that Count Gloucester betrayed us. The Great Bridge has fallen back into enemy hands. Now that our troops are trapped on Alliance lands, House Regan and House Gloucester have them surrounded on both sides. It's doubtless one of Claude's clever little stratagems, and it stings. I don't understand. Everyone is aware of the troubled history between Regan and Gloucester. Why would they decide to bury the hatchet now? Unless... This supposed feud is little more than a web Claude has spun for this exact moment. Perhaps it is, but perhaps not. For all we know, he wants us to overthink the situation and make a greater mistake. As it stands, Ferdinand's forces are trapped behind enemy lines. The Minister of Military Affairs is moving to recapture the Great Bridge of Murden with all haste. However, I fear he lacks a sufficiently sizable force to do so swiftly enough to reach our isolated comrades before they are crushed. We cannot stand idly by while our allies are in danger. What are our options, Hubert? I have already taken the liberty of engaging several promising mercenary companies. I directed them to covertly enter Alliance territory and provide reinforcements to Ferdinand. Why was I not informed of any of this? <laughs> From the very beginning, I had my doubts about Ferdinand and his ability to lead our troops to victory. I employed these mercenaries using my own personal funds, which obviated any need to report it. And you believe they'll make it to him in time? 
I do. It turns out that they are quite familiar with the terrain. I'm confident that they will prove well worth the cost of their contracts. It's funny, Hubert, to think that your complete lack of faith in Ferdinand might be the very thing that saves his life. The world truly is a mysterious place. That you, Claude? What are you doing in a place like this? Oh, hey. I'm not up to much. Just shirking my duties for a little bit. Your plan's going well, huh? We've managed to corral most of the Imperial forces that are still in the Alliance. Everything's moving like clockwork. At this rate, it won't be long before we've finished off the entire enemy force. You don't seem too happy about it. Hasn't this whole war been unfolding exactly the way you thought it would? So far, yeah. But it's not over yet. Unless we find a way to stop them, the Empire is going to make another play for the Great Bridge of Murden. And when that happens, we'll be taking on Count Burglis himself. It'll be a brutal fight, no matter how many angles we try to play. And even if we pull it off, what then? Do we invade the Empire, or just stay on the defensive? We don't know what's going on with the Kingdom and the Church, and the Almirans could decide to drop in on us again at any time. There are limits to how far I can map things out, but the Alliance won't survive unless I account for every possibility. I'm dancing as fast as I can here, but there's no end in sight, and these feet are starting to get tired. Claude, if anyone can do this, it's you. You'll figure something out, just like you always do. I know it. I only hope that happens before I flat-out collapse. Guess that would be a problem, yeah. Speak for yourself. I, for one, have plenty of wisdom to share. Perhaps I should grant you some? I probably won't be much help, but on the off chance I do get a flash of inspiration, I'll be sure to let you know. Excuse me? I've placed myself at your disposal, yet you claim there's only an off chance that I'd have a good idea? I'd appreciate a little more credit. You know, I'm really glad you're the one who hired me, Claude. You've got vision. You think about all these things that had never even occurred to me. Plus, I know you'll always pay me on time. <laughs> well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Sorry to make you listen to all my griping. But you know what? I feel a bit better now. Maybe it's not such a bad thing to let it all out now and then. Well, if all you need is someone to vent to, I'm here. I'll even give you a real good rate on it. Wait, you're charging me for this? You mercenaries sure know how to bleed a guy dry, don't you? Lord Ferdinand, I've brought an envoy from the Alliance. Allow me to introduce myself, sir. My name is Holst Sigiswald Goneril. It is an honor to meet you. Even those of us from the Empire have heard tales of your valor. I am Ferdinand von Eyer, and this army is under my command. I come as a representative for the Leicester Alliance. I'm sure you can guess what I'm planning to say. You are here to ask for our surrender, I take it. Your army is surrounded with no hope of victory or retreat. There would be no dishonor in laying down your arms. <sighs> 
So the Empire declined our terms? I guess that's not a complete surprise. It was as if he didn't even consider the possibility. Perhaps he'd have regarded it an affront to his pride as a noble of the Empire. He's really willing to throw away the lives of those who serve him just for that? Actually, his troops' morale seemed unexpectedly high. I believe they've steeled themselves for a fight to the death. Not without exception, of course. One of his officers was hiding under a table. And I noticed some dispirited soldiers about their camp. Hiding under a table? <laughs> That has to be Bernadetta. I mean, who else could it be? I wonder if she'd hear us out. Since we couldn't convince Ferdinand to give up on this desperate last stand, we have no choice but to give him what he wants. If we win this battle, the Alliance will finally be back to where it was before the Empire invaded. No matter who you face on the battlefield, hold nothing back. Hit them with everything you've got. You know, I realized something very important. I forgot to level up these guys. Hold up. <laughs> return to the war map. Return. I forgot to level up these guys before we started this video. Oh my gosh. We were about to go under leveled. And I grinded so much money just to level up these guys. Oh my god. Hurry up. Where are we at? I forgot all about that. I may train their classes. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. You are right, soldier. That's, oh my god. I'm Skip. Next. We got so much that's the most I've seen while grinding grinding. While grinding, this is the most I've seen. X. Next. I want to do my Next. Oh, we don't care about you. Shamir, Holes, uh, you guys will be equally fine. Alright, now we got... Okay, now... Alright, let's go, let's go. I forgot one important thing, but we got this. We got this. Let's go! Besieging the Imperial Army. Defeat Ferdinand. Persuade. Light beacons to confuse the enemy and temporarily halt the enemy advance. What does that mean? Imperial form formation intel. Locate the enemy general in hiding using information obtained from the Imperial... Blah, blah. Mounted Surge. Summon a mounted unit to engage the enemy. Reinforce will deploy periodically. Begin the battle with a slightly decrease. Only like a certain amount. Slightly strike with allies for a period of time at the start of the battle. Alrighty then. Where are we at? I want Leone. You want her to go all the way over there? Sheesh. She's our healer. Oh my god, we'd probably be needing her. Um, let's see. Oh my god. He's surrounded by archers, not gonna lie. I'll handle this. Change the convoy. Add. I thought we got the killer gauntlets. Well thing it is. I made him a thief for a reason. 
Get that. We got the killer too. Uh, go with the steel. She'll rock out with that. Let us begin! They've got nowhere to run. Please, excuse me. Go over there. Okay? You can count on me. Back her up. We must force the enemy generals to surrender. Defeat the archers and pursue the Imperial Army. It was Got it. Brilliant to surround them like this, Claude. And it could not have been accomplished without my father. Escape route has been cut off. Must be some way to break through. My city is striking the crooked high road. Let's Say less. Take this. If you give it up already, you only keep losing troops if you... Huh? What? Jared's mercenaries appear. Yo! Already? That fast. Did we make it in time? The situation doesn't look great, but we've still got a job to do. Aloise. Bot is fighting out of this. Bruh! The mercenary company. You have my gratitude. The love of everyone. Proceed to the escape route at once. Captain Gerald. Oh no. I really don't want to do this, but I can't hey. let them get away. Don't let retreat. Please finish this guy off. Did we finish them off or what? Regardless of what happens. Do we have an escape route? Because all sides seems they're blocked. You can count on me. Wait, Brady's here? Search a stronghold for the sniper. Is Benedetta the sniper? Perhaps we should use the information we obtained about the enemy's formation. Did we get the thing? We'll never catch up to the enemy if we don't stop them. We'll show them how determined we are. The thing is, we can't go through there and Lysithia is over there. Hold up. We just came into like that. They found me. Stay away. Here we go. I had a feeling it was you, Bernadetta. You don't seem to be willing to listen in that state. Oh my god. If the battle's already progressed this far, that information on the Imperial Army's formations won't be very handy anymore. Defeat the archer and their allies. Not a problem. I've got this. The enemy doesn't seem that interested in fighting. We may be able to convince her to surrender. Hey, it's my turn. Take a breather. Let us take the my storm. Swarm. Defeat it, let's go. Where are we at with this? He's right over there. Now it is my turn. Hey, um, Bernadetta, could you maybe 
maybe stop fighting? Wait, what? No, I'm not ready to die. Please, don't murder me. That's not the thing. Captain Gerald, I leave the rest to you. I will rally the troops who have managed to withdraw. I just thought to her retreat it. I didn't even know she was here. We must save as many soldiers as we can. There you go, getting all worked up again. But I guess our pay will get docked if we just stand around. Where is Leone? Oh, at least chill, chill, chill on me, chill on me. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Got it. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Not a problem. Hey, it's my turn. Now we can focus on pursuing them. Wait, something's happening in the central area. What is that? What? Oh, come on, son. Well, it's not expected, so. You will not go any further. We avoid him? That's the Ashen Demon, huh? Don't engage them if you can help it. Focus on stopping the Imperial troops. Come then! Let us fight with honor! There's no honor. Alois? Did he leave the Knights of Seros? Do you remember me, Captain? Well, even if you don't, we have to fight. Oh, the Oni! You've grown so much since I last saw you. You can advance now. Forward! Jesus Christ. Time to face the Blade Breaker's wrath. Face the Mini Blade Blade, whatever you call yourself. The escape point is before us. Go, everyone. Where's the Ashen Demon at? Take this! We're beating the captain! We are beating the captain! Take this! Take on the old man. I hope the captain approves. The captain approves? Yes or no? They got me beat, huh? Hey, it happens. All right, I'm falling back. We got the captain's approval. Hey, captain, this counts as a win for me, right? <laughs> They've turned their attention back to us. Got it. My turn. Path once more. Great. Do I have any archers on the side, Claude? Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. It's 50-50 right there. Please, you back him up. Okay? We can't let our blockade fall apart. We need reinforcements. We could set fire to our signal beacon. It may be able to slow the Imperial Army's retreat. That's it for me. I must control. Where are we at with this? Do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. There's nothing these muscles can't do. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Let's try. Let's see how this goes. Take care of that. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. Oh my god. Lawrence, you're with me. Now it is my turn. There is we considerably weaken the mercenaries. All that's left is to catch Ferdinand. No more capable than I expected. We must prioritize the Imperial troops. There is no need to engage if you're having difficulties. I know we were told not to engage, but isn't this a great opportunity to see how much you've grown? No.
Let the beacon. It took that a while to just get there. Caught up to you, but I shall not surrender here. Lawrence. My apologies. I do not have time to trade barbs or blows with you right now. That is most unfortunate. I cannot allow you to escape. Here we go again with that. Great. Are we surrounded? Your Majesty, that I would protect you at all costs. She's right behind us. See that promise through. Edelgard truly made you promise such a thing? But I cannot very well abandon you here. If we lose you, we lose the whole army. Please go, so that everyone might live. Hello. Here we go. Did we do it? At least Lord Ferdinand got away. Why the dragon Your wavering majesty. like that? If only I could have seen you one last. Did we do the thing? Their general escaped, but we struck a blow to the Imperial Army nonetheless. I'd call this a victory. This was the shortest mission yet. Well, we did it. Yet you're still the saddest looking fighter in camp. Why the long face? Because we only barely got the job done. Everything else was a miserable failure. Sure, we routed the Imperial Army and forced Geralt and his mercenaries to retreat. But we let Ferdinand get away in the process. And if that wasn't bad enough, I failed to beat the Ashen Demon. Basically, we lost in nearly every way you can lose. Wrong. You were hired to do a job, and you did it. And in the process, you've received a valuable reminder about the unique danger the Ashen Demon poses. You're right. I can't believe one fighter could turn the tide of an entire battle like that. Precisely. They're surely going to continue standing in our way. So do try to dig a little deeper the next time you square off. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks for the chat. I'm not. I'm not. I won't let my. Did you manage to find Ferdinand and his troops? No, but I spotted tracks that suggest they fled toward Garrick Mock. So they've given up on the southern route and are making their way back to the Empire by circling west. It won't be easy to catch them now. I'm just relieved that Ferdinand is still alive. 
I must admit, I am too. Yeah, same here. I just wish we could have caught him, though. Knowing Ferdinand, he's gonna think the only way to redeem himself is by attacking us again. Well, if he does, I'll just chase him away. I'll send that guy packing as many times as we need. I'm more worried about Geralt and his mercenaries. I'm with you on that. Right. Ferdinand would have never escaped if Geralt's people weren't covering him. I suspect this won't be the last we see of them. We can't let their smaller numbers lull us into a false sense of security. That's a surefire way to get beaten. On the bright side, we've taken down most of what was left of the Imperial Army's invasion force. I think it's fair to say the Alliance has officially made it to the other side of this crisis. Great work, everyone. May I ask what our next move is, my lord? Well, as you know, the Empire is currently locked in battle with the Kingdom of Fargus. With fronts to the east and the west, the Empire is stretched thin. They've been forced to divide their army. I'd be curious to hear what my favorite mercenary thinks. What would your next move be? As the brains of this duo, I'll take this one. The answer couldn't be clearer. Attack the enemy's homeland. First off, I'd fortify our borders. Then we could rally the Alliance army and prepare for what comes next. Okay, that's the exact opposite of what I told you. I'm hurt that you place so little faith in me. That would only serve to put us in the same position as before, playing defense against the Empire. Now is the time to go on the offensive. I agree. They attacked us first, so we're fully justified in the retaliation. What's more, if we can claim House Burgley's farmlands for ourselves, then the Alliance should be sitting pretty for a century to come. Um, isn't Count Burgley's known for his incredible strength? He may be a Drestia's mightiest warrior, but at the end of the day, he's still just one man. The Empire's invasion of Leicester has failed. That crack in their armor is just the opening we need to strike. If victory means peace for the Alliance, I'm all for it. I won't lose to this Count, no matter how tough he is. I'm sure if we don't take this opportunity, it won't be long before the Empire regroups and attacks us again. I don't approve of this at all. Surely the Alliance army is already exhausted from fighting multiple battles. So many of our soldiers are wounded. We should give them time to rest and recover. If our attacks were to somehow fail, then the Alliance would be plunged right back into crisis. And need I remind you, the next time the Empire knocks on our metaphorical door, we will not be able to employ the same tricks again. We won't fail. I'll handle Count Burglis myself, and I will vanquish him. But, Holst, can you really afford to be away from our territory for so long? Almira could strike at any moment. My, this conversation's certainly gotten heated. Do I sense another roundtable meeting in the works? Seems like this kind of decision would need one of those conferences, huh? That's how it goes around here, yeah. I guess we'll just have to table this discussion until then. I've returned, Father. Hmm, yes. Father, between your feigned betrayal and surprise attack at the Great Bridge, your leadership in this war has been nothing short of exceptional. However, I must ask why you felt it necessary to exclude me from your plans. I could have assisted you had I only known your intentions. No. If Deirdre had fallen, House Gloucester would have remained a loyal vassal to the Empire. There was no need for you to share the stigma of that betrayal. I wanted your hands to remain clean. You are, after all, the heir to the noble House Gloucester. Father. But I will tell you this. Claude von Regan is dangerous. 
In this matter, I allowed him to inveigle me into going along with his scheme. And what was born of this plan of his? Much of our domain became a battlefield, its citizens exposed to considerable peril. That seems a small price to pay considering all we have gained. An Alliance leader who dismisses any amount of suffering is unfit to bear the title. I am convinced that Claude will never understand this. Now, that is not necessarily... Listen to me, Lawrence. I am done obeying that reckless child. You cannot mean to secede from the Alliance. No, of course not. I intend to yield my title. What? Claude may be the one to save our alliance, but I refuse to serve under him all the same. You, however, are much more adept at dealing with his particular style of leadership. Would you not agree? You are proposing I become head of this house? Are you certain? Lawrence, my son, I have long forced you to uphold my own ideals. That too ends today. Going forward, you shall act in accordance with your own beliefs. My only stipulation is that you never forget your duty to protect the common folk and always consider their best interests. You have my word. I stand both honored and humbled to accept the Countship of House Gloucester. <laughs>